Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back of his Teardown Lab carbon monoxide detector. So these are detectors that you should have in your lounge and living room if you've got a un is it unvented appliance. Oh, I don't know what you call it. Not a room sealed one anyway, like a stove, gas stove, oil burning stove, anything like that, which draws its air from your living room or a living area. You can see it says replace unit by October 2015. So this is an old unit. It's been donated to me and just see these holes here. I had to poke things in these holes and mess around to try to get the lid off, but I finally did. Something really nice in the lid, I noticed a feature here. Do you see this? It's a sort of sliding mechanism, some sort of slider. And what this is, do you see it right there? Some sort of, uh, it, it slides up to make join these two contacts which connects the battery pack to the main unit so it's kind of cute so i guess when these things got shipped out or when they were the final qa test someone must have just sort of pushed something through there and that would engage them and there's a little window there i think that's to see the status look on they actually had an on off so these look like they've sort of been subsidized by british gas or someone else there's a honeywell analytics so it's probably a standard design from somewhere. I just want to see if you can see on. If you pick this sticker off, I can certainly see the O and I can see the N, yeah, on. So off would have been wedged in there, I guess. Indeed. So someone would have had to put a screwdriver blade in here and then just drag that down to on where I guess this bit here would actually engage. It's a latching mechanism. Anyway, enough of time spent on that. First interesting thing I saw in his side, I'm just gonna cut this so you can get at it, is the battery pack because it's three standard energizer cells from what I can ascertain looking at it. Now I was really just expecting I don't know what I was expecting. Probably wasn't expecting AA cells, but I certainly wasn't expecting branded ones. Let's have a little measure. Let's see how dead these cells are. 1.3 volts, 1.3 volts. And just for your reference, here's a, a sort of fret, a fresher cell. I don't think it's particularly fresh. 1.6 volts. So I think these are meant to be 1.5 volts nominally. So uh, yeah, just those are dead. So I, I suspect really you could, oh look, March 2015 actually written on the battery themselves. I reckon you could just change those cells. So just pull that apart. Little PCB, which contains the LEDs and the push to test button, which has fallen away. Usual sort of technology. Mystery part here. Wonder what that would have been for. So if we go on the website for Honeywell Analytics, perhaps there's another model up. Buzzer. I suspect it's just, ooh, hang on, a cotton pick and minute. It's interesting because it's got, it's like quite big. And it's, it's hooked in with um, at least three pins. Might turn on the soldering iron while I'm talking so we can uh, maybe remove that buzzer. It might just looks like it's sizable enough that it might contain gubbins so it buzzes itself let's have a look oh. ah, mysterious it just seems to be like a big um, piece of electric element soldering iron off i think yeah it's not going to be t anything too interesting here because uh, yeah never seen them glued in that way before that might be fun to keep though, just for some experiments. I've got a big bag of them, as most people do, but... Oh, I've cracked it. Can you see the crack right there? No good. Chuck that away. Ooh, look at that. So I get that out of the way. Let's tear off that corner of the PCB. There's nothing interesting to see on there anyway. SF450EN. Guessing that's kind of the 
software version on this chip. If I can remove the label, I might be able to see what chip that is. Got plenty of sticky stuff on it. Pick 16C57C. C. So it's a standard pick. And um, yeah, a lot of chips here that are just driving this big old watch here. And this big old thing is probably the sensor itself. Only two pins there. Interesting. Look at that arrangement. It's actually, it's as if it pushes in, and these are the holders for it. So maybe we can actually remove it. Yes, we can. I'll be. That's very, very interesting. Never seen that before. So this is the actual sensor. Sixth Sense Eco Sure. Caution. Band C. So they're the US patent numbers. You can find out everything you need to know about this sensor. Carbon monoxide, eh? Well, I'll be, and I'd certainly never have expected a carbon monoxide sensor to only be two pins. And the reason is, I know for a lot of the sensors that use um, the pickup smoke or ionizing gases, they always have two parts. So there'll be like a, some sort of light emitting thing and then some sort of light receiving thing. And if it detects a change between the two. But, so, you know, that would always require at least three pins. So this, this would have been a three pin device that so you've got an R, W and C contact on here, but this is only using the W and C. See if we can get some chip numbers from any of the other chips. Quite hard to see though. Looks like a, uh, a 24L, God, a 24L C018. And this one is a 20623 chip. Just look at this last other big boy. Nah, there's nothing interesting. Just says LZ on that one. Then your microchip. So if you want to make one of your own, I suppose, buy one of these, get the data sheet and reference design, plop it straight on. Quite curious as to what this three pin bad boy is here. Does anyone know what this type of device is? It eludes me. Some sort of rectifier? Looks humongous though for what it's doing. Or is it just a transistor? Look at the size of those legs. Serious current capacity here. So I hope that's uh, been of some use to you to see what's inside the British Gas SF450EN or the Honeywell Analytics, the same model number. Apparatus type B. Constant exposure to high or low temperatures or high. Note of alarm, pull down the flap for instructions. Ah, instructions. One shot per minute, two shots per minute, two volt, three shots per minute, end of line up. Hope that's been some use to you. Please click subscribe for more of my rantings. Please feel free to comment down below. And as ever, thanks for watching.